says, pack me in your suitcase, mama. Welcome to Digging with Deej. Um, as some of you may know, my brother sent me plane tickets to Florida. Um, I am not checking any bags. Uh, I don't want to risk my stuff getting lost. Uh, when you check your bags, if your bags get lost, what's happening in the past, when my bags got lost, I had to claim it on my homeowners. And your trip's ruined, you know, if they don't show up with you. And my homeowner's deductible is $500, so it wouldn't cover all of my equipment. I would end up having to buy the majority of it myself. So, what I did was, I took all my shovels, digging equipment, my thick monopod hiking stick, um, and my sand scoop and the handle to it, and I boxed it up and I shipped it last week. It's supposed to arrive there sometime late tonight, tomorrow morning, to my brothers. Now, because I'm not checking any bags, that means I'm putting my metal detector in my carry-on bag. So, the left side of my bag here is for my clothes, and the right side is for my metal detector. So, what I did was, um, you're not allowed to take some tools over seven inches, so I bought a short Phillips head screwdriver so I could put my detector back together when I get down there. And I took my rain suit, because if you've never been to Florida, it rains at some point during the day, just about every day, you know, a short rainstorm. So I got my rain suit, I packed that inside the zipper part where the hard metal supports are, Zip that up, okay, so then when I took my metal detector apart, I made sure I screwed that onto this end, and I'm going to put those in here diagonally. got, because I broke my detector down into three pieces. So then I've got this one, goes there, and I leave the lid off of my detector so they can see there's no batteries in it. They don't want batteries in it. Okay, so I primarily use my 5x8 coil and my sniper coil. So Five by eight coil right there. Snap the coil there. And then I have a gift for my brother that he doesn't know about. And you're not allowed to wrap gifts and bring them on the plane. So I'm putting my wrapping paper in there. And this is the tech point pinpointer that I got with my uh, Technetics T2 Plus detector. Um, I'm not bringing that detector because it's too big. When I break it down, it's too big for my bag. So, so I've got his gift in there, the wrapping paper in there. And I'll move this over here. First aid kit, tape to bag up my shovels again and ship them back home when I'm ready to go. Batteries. Batteries. A backup uh, tripod. Gloves, which I still have to find the other half. Those gloves. Okay. Shoes. Try this again. Those in that way. Shoes. This is my phone holder for when I'm in the car. So we're going to close 
it up. Bendable, so I can bend it whatever position I need it in. Long holder. Okay. Bubble wrap over the top of my detector. The brain of my detector. Protect that more. Ice pack in case my back goes out. My phone holder for my thick photo stick. And then my bag with my here it. Expandable bag. Oh yeah, it's gonna close. So that's all there is to it. Um, so the next clip that I'll show you in the video is leaving for the airport. So I hope this was helpful. I'll see you in a bit. Now we're on our way to the airport. Here's the giant Uniroyal tire. mini snowstorm at my house, but we drove out of it. So we're about eight miles from Detroit Metro Airport. Okay, we're here at the airport. Take good care of my baby. Okay. Mm -hmm. Tanner Banana, stay. Stay. You gotta stay, baby girl. Top of tablet in your bag at all? Do I what? Roll that top of tablet in your bag? No. All right. You're gonna put your roller bag up here. Put your stuff all the way through the purse, okay? Thank you. You're welcome. It's my first. <laughs> Oh. 
frills. They mean no frills. There's my tray. I got that much space between my knees and the back. There's my backpack. They planted this too. Well, I made it to Florida. And this trip was the first trip I did everything myself, by myself. The flight, the car rental, and the driving here to my brother. I had a collaboration hunt set up with Amy, part-time detector, and Rob of FL Thunder, and possibly some others. So stay tuned, and thank you for going on this journey with me. I'll see you soon.